Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today. We're back with another Dev Diary. It's the end of the month. It's time to see what Prehistoric Kingdom has been up to. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the July Dev Diary, as you can see on screen here, and let's just jump into it. Let's see what they've been up to. The very first thing is something I am so excited about, and I feel like I say that all the time, but this one I am truly excited about, Steam workshop support. So much to the excitement of many in the community, myself included, our next update will include Steam workshop support for saved games and modular prefabs. That means that in the next update, I can share what I build, you can share what you build, and you can use each other's items in your park. It's an awesome way to collaborate with other creators, and I'm super, super excited. Prehistoric Kingdom, of course, having resizable and scalable pieces, the uh, possibilities are truly endless, so I cannot wait to see what some people make that are much more creative than myself that I can then, uh, I can steal them, I can use them. <laughs> Getting everything up and running proved to be initially troublesome, but the implementation didn't take as long as we expected. Seeing the workshop page fill up with some development and community items taken from the Discord for testing purposes was incredibly exciting. So you can see here in this screenshot or snapshot in this picture, here are some items uploaded as their test items. So yeah, that's basically it. We're going to get Steam Workshop support. Fantastic. Anyone using the Steam account to play Prehistoric Kingdom can soon easily update or add workshop items via our in-game tools. We cannot wait to see the community share their wild ideas and creative spark. Awesome. I'm super excited. So there you go. I don't have too much to say about that uh, or too much more to say about that. It's pretty self-explanatory and uber exciting. But moving on to something almost as exciting are build pieces. So the terracotta roof set will be coming. Coming to the tropical theme in our next update, the terracotta roof style provides a whole new decorative flavor for your park builders. Offering recolorable tiles, there isn't a shade these roofs cannot supply. Love it. Of course, we always want more pieces, and this offers an awesome style to the game, one that we obviously don't have just yet, but I am very much about branching out and getting different theme themes in a prehistoric kingdom. That way the uh, possibilities of what we can build can truly be endless, and the terracotta roof set is an awesome addition, so very excited about that. We especially love how easy it is to change the vibe of a building with this new set. Just a few clicks and you're completely restyled your modular group. So you can see here by this little gif, it's going through same shape of building and everything, just different colored roof, just different colored walls. Excuse me, I'm stumbling over my words a bit. But you can see how easily it just kind of changes the style. Um, so yeah, so we're getting that and hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, more pieces in the future. I, I do believe that they are on that, but I would love to see as many build pieces as we could possibly get. Because uh, I like to make pretty things, and to make pretty things, I need lots of pretty pieces. So hopefully that continues to come. Upcoming development. So new species time. Perhaps one of the funkiest little dinosaurs to enter the kingdom thus far. We would like to introduce you to Solidosaurus. And I love that they started putting the pronunciation next to the name in their dev diaries. This is fantastic for someone like me that is really trying hard to learn how to pronounce dinosaur names properly. So Solidosaurus, is how I'm reading it phonetically there, is coming to the game. Belonging to the family group uh, Thyreophora? <laughs> Thyreophora, there we go. This small armored dinosaur presents some unique features, donning a pair of goat-like horns and a spine sheathed in osteoderms. Solidosaurus lived 191 million years ago in the early Jurassic. Though traditionally a quadruped, this animal has been observed using bipedal movement to run and survey its surroundings. Are you ready to see? It's, it's on the thumbnail, but ta-da! <laughs> Solidosaurus! Look at this little guy! I have never seen this 
dinosaur before, so I'm very excited, obviously, for a new species, and this just means that I'm gonna have to look them up and figure out what they're all about. If you guys know anything about the Solidosaurus, please leave your facts and comments down in the comment section below. I love to hear from you guys, because you guys are much more versed on your dinosaur information than I am at this point, so please do let me know. If you haven't been keeping count over the last few months, this means that all three animals coming in our first title update have now been revealed. The Coelophysis, the Dilophosaurus, and the Solidosaurus will be making their way into your parks after the next update. Stay tuned for future announcements and release dates. So there you go, all three new species that we're going to be getting in the game. Which one's your favorite? I'm partial to the Dilophosaurus, especially given the design that we're getting. I love the head crests on the Prehistoric Kingdom Dilophosaurus. I cannot wait to play with that in game. And here you go, our thumbnail shot. We have all three kind of lined up side by side. I uh, love it. I, I do. I love it. This guy looks uh, a little chunky in the middle there compared to everybody else. But look at this crest on uh, the Dilophosaurus and the patterning on the back. It's absolutely gorgeous. Where we're at, currently the team is hard at work developing our next update. A number of important changes have been made as well as fixing a number of issues as the idle Triceratops and further save load reports. For the next update, we'd like to specify what we're actively working on and what needs to be finished in order for us to release it. Animal information signs, 2D art assets for the info sign screen are complete. The 3D art, so screen, frame, etc., is still yet to be made but won't take long. For now, we will be releasing the animal info signs with temporary screenshots. In the future, they will contribute to the guest education need. Main menu redux, 3D art for the new main menu has been completed. All that remains is to set the scene up in engine and prepare our new background elements. This is not a must have, but may be moved into the following update if needed. And lastly, guest ethnicity ethnicities. My goodness, I can say the dinosaur names, but I can't say the word ethnicities. <laughs> 3D art for new guest ethnicities has been completed, introducing new faces, skin tones, and hairstyles. They still need to be retargeted and integrated into the engine. Another batch of guest ethnicities will be added at a later date. I love that. I love that addition to the game. What's in the pipeline? Animal animations. Another one of my favorite little sections. It makes these guys come alive. It gives them personalities. It gives me something to watch as I put my animals in the habitat and look at them, you know, explore and do these little animations and make them feel like they're real animals. Our animators have continued to work in a whole bunch of behavioral animations for a number of animal groups. We saw how much the community loved our last showcase, so we thought we'd reveal a couple more. Yes. So this one, little guy scratching his back and scratching his face on the ground, but then are you ready for it? If you ever thought a T-Rex was just a big puppy dog, here is your confirmation. They roll on their backs and they just want little belly rubs. How good, oh my goodness. They didn't have to give this to us, but they did and I couldn't be more excited. I am obsessed obsessed with this animation. I love the fact that they took this big massive carnivore, gave it a cute adorable little animation and just made it like I said, like a giant little puppy dog. I think it's fantastic. So there you go, there's your T-Rex rolling on its back and I, I couldn't be happier with that, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what else they add. I want like 50 different animations for all of the animals so I can just sit there and endlessly watch them uh, do things, basically. So there's our little T-Rex. And then I think one of the last things here, we have guest AI, yeah, one of the last things. Improved guest AI is also on track to join 
showing our new species in the next big title update. So far, we've added the ability for a guest unit to explore, find a point of interest, so uh, binoculars, a shop, something like that, use a point of interest, and spend. For a long while now, our in-game economy has relied on a passive simulation rather than guests physically interacting with facilities and spending their cash. These changes, in addition to needs, will not only make guests appear more active, but will make our economy much more accurate to what visitors are actually doing perfect guests are going to act more like guests that's fantastic and then performance for the modular rendering system have been majorly improved with the addition of bounds and shadow culling i am not a developer i do not know what that means but basically just more performance improvements from the devs and then we move on to the very last thing community spotlight of course we have some beautiful things created by some of the community members and another uh youtube video here uh on youtube so there you go we're gonna go back and watch the the t-rex roll because it's my favorite thing ever what do you guys think? Are you excited? Of course, Prehistoric Kingdom still in early access, but available to you guys. If you do want to pick it up, it is purchasable on Steam, and they are obviously, as this video just went over, actively developing it, giving out updates, and working on it. So, it's about time for me to jump back in and do some more building. I have been awfully busy lately, but I have some ideas, especially for new animals coming to the game. So we will be jumping in very, very shortly. If you guys made it this far, if you enjoyed the video, and if you're excited for the update, do leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment. All the same YouTube things I ask of you guys every single time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!